For 112 years, Thames Ironworks, later to become West Ham United, played their football on just a patch of grass, the patch of grass we called home. Upton Park, two words to many, a spiritual home for some, a horrible place for an away fan to come, but most important of all, our home. Seven years to this day we kiss goodbye to Upton Park in true West Ham fashion, of course, defeating Manchester United 3-2 with a Winston Reid goal late on to send Upton Park into delirium. And that one last roar of the West Ham faithful heard across East London, it came and it's gone. There were many tears, many emotions as we said goodbye to the old girl. And our manager that night, Super Slaven Bilic, played for West Ham for two seasons, came back as a manager. And on that night, he resembled every single West Ham fan. One of my favourite pictures from Upton Park. We love you, Slav. Pre-match rituals abided by fans week in, week out, whether it was parking on a specific road, getting a Nathan's or having a pint in the bowling, or simply turning up to watch the West Ham. Many a pint drunk, many a pie ate, many a programme bought. Everyone has their favourite moment at Upton Park. For me, the stadium erupting into joy as Diafrasacco slots away a last minute winner versus Sunderland. Little again, and they jumping. No foul, Noble's found Sacco, and Sacco looks to have won it for West Ham. It's a heartbreaker for Sunderland. For others, it may be that Winston Reid flick on header from a Pyatt free kick. Pyatt again. Oh, De Gea can't keep it out. Winston Reid is the man, and West Ham lead for the second time tonight. There is a fifth goal, and it's there. Talking of free kicks, that Payette free kick versus Palace, it's got to be up there. These moments are cherished forever and we look back seven years on when we've left our home. My favourite Upton Park memory, well... I'm lucky, I've had lots and lots of really good memories from the place. I suppose a lot of people are going to say the last game against Man United, but I'll go a little bit different. I'm going to go the game that we actually um, stopped United from winning the league in 95. And it was only a draw that day, but I mean, it was so... <laughs> the way we hung on and the way Ludo played and the way we defended... And it was just great at the end that, that we'd actually stopped them that day from, from winning a league. I mean, we used to watch us play against them. Well, I used to hide behind the set E, you know what I mean? Because they, th there's a few times when they ripped us apart. But hey, that day was just, atmosphere was absolutely brilliant. And uh, it's a game that I'll never forget. Um, there is There is many, many, many more that I could mention. But hey, that one for me. So seven years since we left Upton Park, time flies when you're having fun, so they say. Favourite memories, Jake's asked me, of, of Upton Park. Got quite a few. Olas, Gary stood on the stood on the ladder, walking down the street, obviously from Upton Park train station with all the sellers, especially the uh, for my daughter who used to fleece me money every time, the two bags of sweets. Um, Going to be a weird one. What's the one thing I missed from Upton Park after seven years? As you walked right around the stadium to the back, on the road where the bus station and, and the away fans were. There was a burger shed, is the best way, with Terminator, Bonzo, um, you know, that did burgers and sausages. And um, were they the best burgers, burgers in a baguette in the world? No, but it was tradition. Me and my daughter, every home game without fail, that's where we went, that's where we ate. Obviously on the way back, we'd walk past Nathan's Pies and then past the bowling pub on the corner. Now, I used to hate getting covered in beer, but I used to like standing at the back and watching all those idiots throw beer as they got louder and louder, covering all the pool tables with cloths and stuff to protect them. But yeah, some great memories. Uh, seven years. Just got a couple of memories of, um, of going to Upton Park. I have to say my first my first ever visit there, uh, it was a memorable one. I mean, um, 
we lost 3 1, challenge scored after 9 seconds. Um, that part of it, not so good. But I can just remember walking out and seeing how close the players were. And I think uh, this was in 1986, and um, like you were starved of anything West Ham at the time, you know, unless you supported Liverpool. You know, there, was, there was nothing about it in the papers or anything, you know. Didn't even have teletext, I don't think, then. So uh, to see these idols like really close, I can remember coming out and seeing Phil Park thinking, oh, how big is he, you know. Um, I can still I can still feel that, what I felt then. The last game, actually, at Upton uh, Park, the Man United game, where um, we got the result 3 2. But um, although it was emotional, everybody built themselves up into a, a frenzy, really. I mean, it was. The, at the atmosphere was was like nothing I've ever seen before. Um, I probably got slightly close to it at the Seville game at London Stadium, but yeah, everybody was in a frenzy, and uh, it was like to get the result, sort of a big release of like emotion at the end. And so yeah, I'd have to say that that's my memories. No, back in 2002, um, I was sat in the, the top of the at the time the brand new Dr. Martin stand, which was he ended up becoming the Betway stand many many years later. 1-2-1 one, one against Bolton, I always remember that, just we had a great atmosphere, save our season it was. Right up to um, our last season, I remember we beat Liverpool in the fourth round of the FA Cup replay. That always, uh, that's always a memory of mine that I'll have. And Mark Noble's testimonial as well, being there, that's always a great memory, seeing all the old players as well. And then obviously the last game, I was I didn't have a ticket but I was there. So they're my fond memories of the place. Many people from their times at Upton Park kept memorabilia, took their seat on that final night to just remember what a special place Upton Park was. Over the years we've seen many great players grace the pitch of Upton Park, from Dix to Bonds to Decanio to the great Bobby Moore to Cotty to Macaveni, the list most certainly goes on. Of course, change was inevitable, and it's fair to say we've had our ups and downs, good times and bad times in Stratford, but of course, it will never be the same. Whether you like it or not, London Stadium is our future, but that doesn't stop us remembering good times in the past. Proper West Ham, Upton Park, the Bowling, where we belong, seven years on.